Alright, it's Mike from Phase 1. Got another new product I'd like to show you today. Generally not the sort of product I get very excited about, but uh, I've got to say this one has actually caught my eye. It's the American Legion Jelly Dome. Very much like the, the Starball effects that you've seen before, but this one has an opaque casing which actually releases, so it looks like it's glowing. When it lights up, the case looks like it glows, but then it still produces all the beams uh, providing you using smoke, of course. We're going to show you this working. We're actually going to show you it working in here, just on this table. We're going to put some smoke in the room. I'm going to show it working there. Also, we've got another one fixed up in our shop in the other showroom, and we're leaving that there as a permanent fixture, so we'll, we'll give you a bit of footage of that as well. Just like to, to let you know a few of the features, it is um, DMXable, it's got three channels of DMX, which is dim, colour and rotation. So we can change the speed of the rotation and the direction, we can change the colours and we can change the brightness that it's actually producing and you can control the strobe as well, all via DMX. It's got a 10 watt LED in it which is producing four colours which is red, green, blue and white. And those mixed together, we get seven different colours. It produces 34 beams of light, so it's going to put loads of pattern around the room, the spread on this. It, it just works really, really well. But I think the difference is that this, this case, when it glows, just gives it a little bit of something else. Uh, to be honest with you, it did catch my eye at BPM, so we've ordered a load of them. Um, we're going to set this up in the shop, we're going to let you have a look at it. What we have noticed when it, when it came is you can plug a UC3 controller, which is one of the um, American DJ handheld controllers. We're going to have a go at plugging one of them in to see what features we get, and we'll talk you through that as well. It is sound activated, you don't have to use it sound activated, you don't have to use a UC3 controller, you can just use this on its own and it will pick up the sound in the atmosphere and it will move to the beat or if you want it not working sound to light you can just have it slowly rotating and you can adjust the speed on it as well just via the little dip switches on the side here. All in all, it's a tidy little unit and I think there's been a bit of a buzz about this product. Uh, I think it's going to go really, really well. So without further ado, we're going to show you it working and we're going to let you have a close-up of the item as well. So there you can see that the dip switch is on that and that's how you set it into sound to light or you can speed it up and slow it down. It actually comes with a little hanging bracket as well which I'm going to give you a close up of which can, so you can fix it onto any truss. Comes with a little bracket that comes under, uh, fixes underneath which I'll, I will get that out the box in a second let you have a look. There you can see the DMX in, DMX out and then there's the port for the UC3 controller which that's how we're going to show how to demo it but we'll talk you through that as we're doing it as well so there you go that lets you have a look at it so just come back there to show the underside of the unit and like I said it comes with this U-shaped bracket which will fit straight onto there like so which will give you easier access for hanging it off a clamp and it comes with the, the nuts and bolts as well. So I just wanted to show you that. That actually comes with the package as well so your jelly dome can be hung up very very easily. Okay without further ado we're going to show you that working. So okay we're back in the room we've dimmed the lights down we've put it on the table as you can see it's still there I've got a UC3 controller plugged into it which is an optional extra it doesn't come with it but you will find it on our website bundled in as a special deal price at the bottom. Incidentally, if you look at the description underneath this video, you will see a link that leads straight to our website. So without, at first we're going to show you on without any music. I'm just going to come out of blackout mode. And you can see how the outer casing is glowing there. Right? Now, going up to the ceiling in our showroom, you can see how much ambient light that's actually giving out. So it's not just putting the dot on the ceiling or on the wall, it's also changing the colour of the room, which I didn't expect to be honest with you. So going back to blackout, that's blacked out again, using the UC3 controller, put that back on. 
Now what I can also do with this UC3 controller, which you will be able to do without it, but this just makes life a lot easier. I can speed it up with every click. So as I'm clicking the button, it's changing rotation in a different direction. And then also, it's speeding it up. It's another click. And that's another click. And that's another click. Right down to the first slowest position. I'm just amazed how much light that's actually putting out. So go back to blackout, you can see the colour come into the room. Brilliant. Really, really impressed so far. And I just think that dome glowing like that is just something really, really different. Also what we can do by a click of the button on the UC3 controller is we can put it into sound to light mode, which is what I'm going to do now. Whilst it's in sound to light mode, I can press a button on the UC3 and strobe it. So now I'm getting a strobing kind of effect. Release that button. So what I was doing, I was pressing and holding. So I think it's a really good idea to use a UC3 controller with this unit. Live your life to the fullest. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the UC3 controller down and I'm going to see if we can get some different angles on the video. to look at as well visually you're getting dots we've got beams of light when we use a bit of smoke or haze you can control it very very easily I've got to say I'm very very impressed with that product we're going to show you the one now that's actually in our shop so we're just going to cut the vid so we're just in the front shop area of the shop now and what we've decided to do is we've put one as a permanent fixture down at the front of the shop. Now this is right by the window so we're not expecting miracles because there's so much light coming through there as you can see. And we've just got that on a slow rotation and it's doing a great job. And if we look down to that chair it's actually changing the colour of the chair. 
and that is with the daylight coming through the window. So I'm just really, really impressed. You know, we've we decided to put that into the front shop because we think it's a bit eye-catching with people come through the door. Uh, we've already had plenty of interest in it already. The people just walking through the door. I just think it's different. But just showing that we're getting pattern. I can't believe actually I'm quite impressed even with the daylight on that. That that I know it's a white chair which always helps. Shining down on there, it's changing the colour of those things in that area of the shop. So there you go, just a different angle at it, you know, it's not in the disco environment there, it's just at the front of the shop right by a window, but as you can see it's still having a great effect. So ladies and gentlemen, that is the American DJ Jelly Dome. Very, very pleased with that product. Love the way you can control it with a UC3 controller. If you want any more information, don't forget to click the link in the description underneath. Thanks very much, it's Mike from Phase 1. Cheers!